sometimes people ask me how far apart are my set locations. My answer to that is pretty simple. It's however far apart the best locations happen to be. Because I'm only checking best locations and they might be a half a mile apart or they might be in extreme cases five or six miles. But I try to limit that because when they're that far apart then the productivity goes down and the number of sets that you can check goes down. Now this is an ideal setup to catch coon. I got a cornfield over here and a cornfield over there and a nice woolly ditch going right down the middle and I caught a coon here yesterday and all right I got one again today same set. You know culverts and bridges come in thousands of different shapes and sizes and you got to be able to adapt to whichever situation you're presented with and in a situation like this I got two culverts here and so I made a set right in the middle so I wouldn't have to guess which bank the coon was going to run down and then I made one on the opposite side just like it. You know, I try to drown the coon in drowning sets when I can and, and set them in situations where they'll be dispatched when I get there, but you can't always do that, and so a, a 22 puts them down quickly and humanely. I'll show you how I like to use oil-based lures like super salmon and super shellfish at sets like that. If you use an oil-based lure, put it around your set like this and, and rub it in good. And you can see the oil in the water here, and you mash that into the mud good. And then a couple days, you come back, you can just splash more water on there. And what's oil do when it's mixed with water? It rises to the top. So come back, splash more water on there, rub it in. You got fresh smell again. And I'll put a fresh piece of fish in here, and this set is ready to go. Okay, there's a lot more coon waiting for us.